Okay, so uh, we're, we're talking about variety in the squats uh, in relation to saving your knees for the real job that you have. First, you're a dancer, singer, um, uh, uh, comédienne, as we say in French, and um, secondly, mm -hmm. you're a lifter. So when you lift, you've got to be careful not to injure your knees because you make your money with your knees. So uh, in the squats, it's good to squat um, slowly and under control all the way down without excessive bouncing at the bottom. Another form of doing it is by going to the bottom, nice and controlled, and spending three seconds, four seconds in that position, and then you rise. Without bouncing, you rise nice and strongly from that position. So it just saves on the ligaments and tendons uh, that you rely on uh, as a profession, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of dancing and so on. So um, uh, in terms of another variety in squats, you can uh, uh, do all sorts of uh, a variety of repetitions. Uh, anywhere from uh, five repetitions or three repetitions to 10. So suggestion, if uh, it's Friday, uh, it's Saturday, and you're not uh, putting on a show until Monday, well, you might want to give it a little blast uh, for your mm -hmm. legs, and you might want to do uh, maybe three to five repetitions uh, with heavier and heavier weights. Mm. Uh, so that, that's a tactic, uh, three sets of five with uh, X number of weights. 80%, uh, 85% of uh, your maximum, for example. Okay. Um, uh, so, depending on the show that you're performing that evening or the next day, you've got to save your, your legs. So, be careful as to how mm. much uh, training you actually do with squats, either front or, or back squats. So, there's all okay. sorts of variety that uh, you would use. And also, the variety comes in the amount of weights that you use, uh, light weights, medium, and heavy. So you can, in your mind, a light weight would be 50% of your max. Say your max is 100 kilos, which I think it is in the squat. Mm -hmm. So that would be 50 kilos. That's what we've got on the bar right now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, medium would be, say, 75%. Mm -hmm. And heavy would be, say, 90%. Okay. Up to 90%. Of that. And can you talk so. about the your whole hose analogy going up to the bottom? Oh, the, yeah. yeah. Um, when when um, when you're doing front squats or back squats or when you're pulling the bar from the floor, whether you're doing a deadlift, you're doing high pulls, squat clean, or whatever, um, your trunk is like a hose, and uh, if you take a hose and uh, there's no water in the hose that you're watering your lawn. There's no water. The hose is very pliable. It breaks very easily uh, like this. Whereas uh, if you fill it up with water and put a lot of pressure, water pressure in it, try to bend it and it's much harder to do. So your chest cavity acts the same way with air. It's not water you're putting in there, but it's air. So what you do is, just before the effort, you take a nice deep breath, you inhale, hold it until you've cleaned the weight, and on your way up, you can exhale, and then again, you have to recharge the cavity with air, which is like doing the same thing with the hose, You'd mm. be, uh, you know, filling the hose with water. So, mm. um, thank you. That that Perfect. that is uh, sort of the uh, uh, the idea that mm -hmm. lifters use, and not only lifters. I mean, dancers use the same technique. Mm -hmm. um, any, uh, like imagine the guy that that's lifting you in a ballet. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a lifter right there, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. You become the apparatus that he's playing with. I know. And uh, so. They have to do the same thing. They have to be very, very, uh, the upper body very rigid, uh, mm. which, which we call uh, the core. Ah.